So what exactly are we listening for? Uh, well, they've got a couple different kinds of calls. They've got a short call that sounds sort of like this. Uh-uh. 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 So we're looking for something called pika? Yeah, pikas. What are pikas? They're a little rabbit relative. They can't live in warm temperatures and they're restricted to just the tops of the mountains. Oh, there's one. Nice. Yeah, it was a nice long call. Three years ago when I was here, there were more pikas here. And now hardly at all. Yeah, the temperatures here have increased more than they have on the global average. So they're pushed up and up and up as it gets warmer and right. warmer. The pikas are more likely to go further up just to, to stay cold. Yeah, the problem is in the past, climate change relatively gradually and species had time to move to change their range. Now, if we sort of just project how fast animals can move and how long it is between generation times, animals aren't going to be able to keep pace. They're not going to be able to move north fast mm -hmm, enough. Mm -hmm. But it's not just pikas that are threatened. Pikas are, you know, sort of a canary in the coal mine for what's happening with climate change. Uh, in Yosemite, you know, more than half of the small mammals they looked at were disappearing from low elevation sites. Could there be other reasons why the pika are disappearing and not just climate change? They're not hunted for food. No, people don't hunt them. Their skin. It'd maybe be a really small skin. Maybe yeah. like you'd need a lot of them to half a glove. Yeah, at the most. This is one of those cases where it seems to be just climate change. It's definitely just climate change. That's what all of the evidence is pointing towards. I'll be honest. I'd never even heard about the pika before. But now, I'm worried about the little guy. There's a bunch of species that live in what we call sky islands. If climate change is pushing high elevation species out of their habitat, are there other ways it's impacting animals around the world? What about in Africa, where human life began? The place where so many of our iconic animals live. <laughs> 